and we've gathered here today. We've gathered here to pray. Hear our cry. gospel passage describes an attempt made by the enemies of Jesus to trap him into saying something incriminating. But Jesus 
is more than a match for his enemies well aware of their malicious intent jesus definitely escapes the trap and teaches them where their true allegiance should be it is pointless to pit our allegiance to god against our obligations to those who rule us we give to god something that we do not give to any earthly ruler that is a worship and it is precisely for this we are gathered here as a community to worship god creator of the universe and lord of all but sadly in practice we don't always do it with an undivided heart putting god first in our lives in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit Welcome to the Eucharistic celebration today we celebrate the 29th Sunday of ordinary time all the liturgical readings invites us to realize our obligation towards god and towards the society we are all created as an image of god which tells us that we belong to god all our actions must reflect that we bear the image of god with us before we begin to enter into the very presence of god in this eucharist let us call to mind our faults and failures as the lord for pardon and mercy i confess to almighty god and to, and to my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that i have, have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words in what i have done, done and what i have failed to do to my, my faults through my faults fault, through my most grievous faults therefore i ask for the forgiveness of my sins all the angels, angels and, and saints and to my brothers and sisters to pray, pray for me to the lord our god may the almighty god have mercy on us and forgive us all our sins and bring us to everlasting life amen Oh 
let us pray almighty ever living god grant that we may always conform your will to ours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen first reading isaiah 45 1 to 6 i have grasped the right hand of cyrus to subdue the nations before him a reading from the book of the prophet isaiah thus says the lord to his anointed cyrus whose right hand i grasp subduing nations before him and making kings run in his service opening doors before him and leaving the gates unbarred for the sake of jacob my servant of israel my chosen one i have called you by your name giving you a title though you knew me not i am the lord and there is no other there is no god besides me it is i who am you though you know me not so that toward the rising and the setting of the sun people may know that there is none besides me i am the lord there is no other word of the lord thanks, thanks be, be to god. god responsorial psalm your response will be give the lord glory and honor give, give the lord glory and honor sing to the lord a new song sing to the lord all you lands tell his glory among the nations among all peoples his wondrous deeds your response give, give the, the lord, lord glory and honor for great is the lord and highly to be praised awesome is he beyond all gods for all the gods of the nations are things of naught but the lord made the heavens your response give, give the lord, the lord glory, glory and honor give to the lord you families of nations give to the lord glory and praise give to the lord the glory due his name bring gifts and enter his courts your response give, give the lord glory and honor worship the lord in holy attire tremble before him all the earth say among the nations the lord is king he governs the peoples with equity your response give, give the lord glory and honor second reading calling to mind faith love and hope the beginning of the first letter to saint paul to thessalonians chapter 1 verses 1 to 5 paul silvanus and timothy to the church of thessalonians in god the father and the lord jesus christ grace to you and peace we give thanks to god always for all of you remembering you in our prayers unceasingly calling to mind your work of faith and labor of love and endurance in hope of our lord jesus christ before our god and father knowing brothers and sisters loved by god how you were chosen for our gospel did not come to you in word alone but also in power and in the holy spirit and with much conviction word of the lord thanks be to god lights in the world 
as you hold on to the word of god alleluia 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 to the The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The Pharisees went off and plotted how they might entrap Jesus in speech. They sent their disciples to him. with herodians saying teacher we know that you are a truthful man and that you teach the way of god in accordance with the truth and you are not concerned with anyone's opinion for you do not regard a person's status tell us then what is your opinion is it lawful to pay census tax to caesar or not knowing their malice jesus said why are you testing me you hypocrites show me the coin that pays the census tax then they handed him the roman coin he said to them whose image is this and whose inscription they replied caesar's at that he said to them then repay to caesar what belongs to caesar and to god what belongs to god the gospel of our lord jesus christ praise to you lord jesus christ friends in christ jesus i am reminded of an incident one sunday after the mass as the people were leaving the church A five-year-old girl asked her father, "Dad, I've been observing in the church. Whenever the priest finishes the prayer, people respond, 'Amen, Amen.' How come they don't say 'A woman'? They only say 'Amen.' To which the father said, 'You know why they respond 'Amen'?" because in the church they only sing hymns not hers this month being the month of rosary we remember the memory of blessed mother the holy rosary in her life all she did the only answer she gave was yes that's what amen it means yes lord yes to the will of god as to the plan of god as to the word of god and this month is dedicated to the blessed mother of the holy rosary we are called to pray the rosary the rosary is the weapon against evil and today's reading also invites us to give our yes to god to say our amen to god as i said in the introduction to this liturgical readings invites us our obligation towards god to give what belongs to god and our obligation to our society to give what belongs to the country to the society each one of us is called as an image of god an instrument in god's hand to do good to do good to the other person to do good to the society promoting the well-being of other today's first reading is taken from the book of isaiah it's beautiful it speaks about the king cyrus cyrus was considered to be the founder of persian empire In the year 539 BC he waged war against Babylon the kingdom of Babylon and he got victory over it and now these Jewish people were in exile in Babylon slaves in slavery 
and this defeat over the kingdom of babylon brought liberation to the jewish people the king cyrus after waging war against babylon he won they thought that he would take the jewish people to slavery again but he did not do he allowed the jewish people to go back to their country judea when they were in under the rule of babylonian king for over 50 years they lost their country not only they lost their country homeland but they lost their identity lost their temple losing the temple meant losing the identity and now they are allowed to go back to their own country to rebuild the temple and the king cyrus also gave them the gold and silver all the beautiful ornaments which decorated the temple once it was demolished by nebuchadnezzar and now everything is restored and given back to this people of israel the chosen one imagine how much they would have felt happy because once we lost the identity and now because of the king of cyrus we regained our identity how much joy they had their hearts were filled with happiness and joy because they regained their identity now we are free we are liberated and now we can go and live our own home country we can rebuild the beautiful temple for god for praise of worship as dear friends in christ this king cyrus was a pagan he was unbeliever he was not a jew and today's reading highlights how god's action contradicts the human mind god needed this pagan king in order to liberate his chosen people and god is able to see beyond the confines of godly things and how he can make you some ungodly person a pagan man becomes a providential instrument in the hand of god today's first reading beautifully it says i grab the hand of the cyrus god grabs the hand of cyrus i will lead him so god made use of this pagan king to bring salvation to his chosen ones sometimes our human mind thinks if someone is away from god or away from religious practices or oh, 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 he is not good she is not good she is not fit he is not fit that's what our human mind thinks our human mind calculates and god says my thinking is not your thinking my ways are not your ways my thinking is as high above the heaven is we see the contradiction god needs this insignificant person this pagan man in order to bring liberation to his chosen one that is the way of god that is the plan of god mother mary was chosen insignificant i need this woman in order to bring salvation to the whole mankind because of her yes yes lord your will be done she opened the door for all of us to enter into the heavenly inheritance the salvation insignificant person unknown to anyone god chooses this little girl mother mary to become the mother of god to become the mother of jesus to bring us salvation all she said is always yes your will be done coming to the gospel reading beautiful in the time of jesus 
the palestine was ruled by romans the moment of his birth it was under the governance of the king augustus the jewish people had to pay three type of taxes at the time ground tax income tax and census tax ground tax whatever they produce from the land so they have to give one tenth of their grains what they produced one fifth of the oil they produced that's what the ground tax and income tax and census tax and now three group of people approach jesus with malice in order to trap jesus who are they pharisees who are the pharisees the pharisees they strictly followed the observance of the law torah the five books not only the torah the law written in the torah unwritten there are 613 precepts oral tradition they were strictly following it and they studied the scripture they were highly regarded in the society because of their religiosity because of the scriptural scriptural knowledge they had and now they come to jesus with herodians herodians are those who supported the roman government collected the tax and from the jewish people and they were supporting the roman governments they were enemies these pharisees and the herodians were enemies but in order to trap jesus they become friends and now they come along with herodians and one more group sadducees sadducees are from the priestly class they believe in torah and they did not strictly follow just like the pharisees but they did not believe the sadducees did not believe in the resurrection and they did not believe in the oral tradition but however they are from the priestly class all these people united for one purpose to trap jesus just with the question they came with a question they know the answer but in order to trap jesus they came with the question master i know you speak the truth you live the truth and tell us the give us the answer is it lawful to pay that census tax to caesar or not now if jesus says yes we have to pay the taxes then they will blame him for not following the divine law blaspheming and he becomes a friend of the roman emperor and now if jesus says no no you don't have to pay then you are not following the human law you are not following the law of the land and knowing their mind jesus gives a beautiful answer give me the coin whose image is this belongs to caesar the coin carried the image of the emperor it's only temporary what the image that is carried by the, the coin is only temporary worldly and secular not lasting longer and what is important is the image that you carry with you is the image that we are all carry with us not the image that we find in worldly things in ungodly things that will fade away but the image that we received through our baptism is imago dei image of god we are not ordinary persons we are god's people we are called a holy nation people set apart a royal priesthood kingly nation we are called to be the royal priesthood through our baptism we share in the threefold mission of jesus christ so we share in the common priesthood we offer this mass we offer our prayers because we belong to god we are from him 
So God has imprinted in us the indelible mark, the mark that cannot be taken away, the image that cannot be erased. That is the image of God. We carry the spark of God in us, dear friends, through our baptism. We bear the image of God. God, Jesus is telling you, give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. Godly things, ungodly things, okay. But you are all created as an image of God. Give to God what belongs to God. You belong to God, not to Caesar, not to any other emperor, not to any other worldly leaders. We have one leader, we have one God, we have one shepherd, good shepherd. So we are called to realize the image that is imprinted in our heart, in our soul. Not in the coin. Don't worry about the coin. Or be worry about the soul. The imprint that we have. The image that we have in our soul. That we belong to God. We belong to God. Rather than asking what to give, yes, a loyal Christian is a loyal citizen. We belong to the nation by our birth. And we are Christians. We are loyal to God. We are called to be loyal to God. Walking his ways. Giving our answer yes to God's plan. And God gets hold of us, grabs our hand as he did to the Emperor Cyrus. I will grab you, your right hand. I will lead you, I will guide you to the green pastures. So we come together, then we believe, we profess our faith in one God. We have one God, we have one Savior, we have one Shepherd, we have one leader. That is Jesus. Give to Jesus what belongs to Jesus. Our worship, our loyalty, our obedience to God. At the same time, the more we are obedient, the more respect that we pay, and the more we respect the country that we are born, then we need to do good to the people around us, to promote the well-being of the humanity in the human society. For that, we are invited today in a special way to remember our own image that we carry with us wherever we go. When you come and receive the Eucharist, you become the Eucharistic people. We carry the Eucharist with us, the image with us. Rest of the week, we need to give to God what belongs to God. We need to give to the society the good, the good we receive from Eucharist, the kindness, the compassion, the mercy, Give it to the people around you, in your workplace, in your family. And that's what today theme is all about. So let us give to Jesus, give to God what belongs to God, realizing that we are created as an image of God, that we carry the image, we carry the likeness of God with us wherever we go, wherever we go. So let us sow the seed of goodness, the seed of mercy, the seed of compassion, that way we belong to God and to the society. We give to God what belongs to God because we are from God and we give to the society what belongs to the society. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Please arise and profess our faith in one God. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Dear friends in Christ, we have gathered here in the name of God to worship Him, to love Him, to love others. 
with deep faith and total trust in god let us offer all our prayers and petitions to him your response lord hear our prayer lord hear our prayer for our holy father the pope and all the leaders of the church that they may not be afraid to speak out and so many provide a courageous voice for truth justice and peace in the world we pray lord, lord hear our prayer for all the citizens of our nation who belong to diverse faiths that they all may have the grace one day to come to the knowledge of the living god and his son jesus who has come into this world for the salvation of all we pray lord hear our prayer for all christians in our country that they may give living witness of god's compassionate love through the manner of their lives we pray lord hear our prayer for all of us taking part in this eucharist today that our life of communion and harmony among ourselves may attract our non-christian brothers and sisters to jesus our lord and find salvation in him we pray lord hear our prayer let's now pray for our own intentions in silence Lord we praise and thank you for bringing us together in your presence on this day with faith and confidence in you we have lifted up all our prayers and petitions all those intentions that we hold in the silence of our heart we ask this to grant it we ask this to Christ our lord amen, amen. take me father take me Pray, dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. Grant us, Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gift, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by every mystery we serve. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation 
always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for by His birth He brought renewal to human fallen state, and by His suffering cancelled our sins. By His rising from the dead, He has opened the way to eternal life. And by ascending to you, O Father, He has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with the company of the angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. May holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit above them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Christ is died, Christ is risen. Jesus Christ will come again. He is our Lord, He is our King. He lives forevermore. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Thomas Aquinas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. The Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Man of the Father, hear our prayer. Save us and grant us your peace. you promised to make us children of him from whom all peace comes, of him from whom all peace comes. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. When you say a word, and my soul shall be healed. Benefiting from participation in the heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal. We ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to over me wherever I go wherever I'll be I know you're there though you cannot be seen you are God's loving care for me my sweet little child I want you each day when you are sleeping and when you're at play All through your life I'll be right by your side I'll be your protector and heavenly guide Thank 
thanking Lord for your angel to watch from above, protecting our children forever in love, guiding our steps as we walk through each day. They keep us safe and remind us to pray. Guardian angel, watch over me wherever I go. Sweet little child, I want you each day When you are sleeping and when you're at play Or through your life